continuing the series of weekly contest 288 here comes the first question in the queue my name is ansir deja i am working as software developer for at adobe and here i present the first question of the contest which is largest number after digits swaps by parity here in this question we are given a positive integer and you need to swap any two digits of nums that have the same parity in it what do we need to do we need to identify the largest possible number after performing any number of swaps so here they have provided us a few examples i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it lead code 2231 largest number after digit swap by parity and in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything in general from me then please feel free to join the telegram group of coding decoded or the discord server the links are mentioned in the description below now let's get started with walking through one of the test cases and understanding the algorithm what do we need to do we need to identify the largest possible num value of nums that can be generated after performing any number of swaps and what are the rules for swapping out two digits of nums they should have same parity when i say same parity odd can be swapped by another odd number and even number can be swapped by another even number and let's take uh, one of the example that was specified in the question we have the input number as 65875 so what i'm going to do i'm i want i'm interested in generating the largest value out here so as soon as you see a largest value sorting should come to your mind and for sorting these digits up i'm going to use two priority queues one for the even digits one for the odd digits and i'll make these priority queues as max heap in nature so that whenever i'm pulling out elements from it i get the one that has the highest value so let's start the iteration so what i'll do i'll create two priority queues one keeping track of even digits even priority queue and another one keeping track of odd digits and both are of type max heap so let's call it epq and other one call it odd pq so let's start the iteration the first element that we see is even in nature so i'll add it to even priority queue the other one that i see is 8 Uh, is five, so I'll add it to the odd priority queue. Next we see is eight. I'll add it to the even priority queue. And next we see is seven. I'll add it to the odd priority queue. Next we see is again odd. I'll add it to the odd priority queue. Now let's start building the final output result. What I'm going to do? I'll reiterate uh, through the input integer once again. And what element do I see here? I see here six. Six happens to be even in nature so what will i do i'll pull out elements from the even priority queue since it's of ma type max heap the ma the highest element would be returned which is 8 so we'll have 8 here let's proceed ahead next we see is 5 5 happens to be odd in nature so i'll pull out element from the odd priority queue so what element will be returned the one that has the highest value which is 7 the so 7 is gone and let's append 7 to our answer string let's proceed ahead next we see is 8 this time I'll look out for even priority queue because the current element happens to be even in nature. What element do I have here? It is already gone from it. I only have six left, so six will be truncated. And six is gone. I'll add six six to the answer string. And let's proceed ahead. Next we see seven. Seven happens to be odd in nature. That means I need to look out for the odd priority queue. I see five as a topmost element, and I'll append five here. And in the last, I again see. odd odd element as a result of which i'll look out for the odd priority queue there is only one element left which is 5 7 and the previous 7 and 5s are gone so i'll append it to my answer string so what have we finally built as the answer 87655 which is in sync with our expectation and i'll exactly follow the same steps in the coding section the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n where n signifies the number of digits that are present in my input string and the space complexity is of order of n where n signifies the number of elements that are present in my input string to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here so here i have defined two priority queues as i already told odd priority queue and even priority queue and i have defined both of them of type max heap a comma b minus b minus a remember this is important this definition makes it max heap instead of the min heap by default Uh, if you don't define anything as part of the comparator it will be min heap however since i wanted here to be max heap therefore i use this lambda expression let's proceed ahead next i cast my input number into string format because it's easier to operate upon it 
and I iterate through each and every character of my nums integer value. I extract that element, that digit, and I check if it happens to be even in nature or odd in nature. If it happens to be even in nature, I add it to even priority queue. If it's odd in nature, I add it to the odd priority queue. And now comes the interesting part. I'm interested in building the final output string. So I restart uh, the iteration over my string, input string that I have casted from nums. And I again check whether the current element happens to be even in nature or odd in nature. If it is even in nature, then I'll pull out element from the even priority queue. Otherwise, I'll pull out element from the odd priority queue and it append it to my answer string. Once I'm done with this, I simply cast my final answer into integer format and return the result. So let's try this up. Accepted. Awesome. Uh, the time complexity I've already told is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of n. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'm solving more questions of the Lead Code Contest 288. So stay tuned.